Separators are important throughout the oil and gas value chain, with the market for separator hardware projected to reach over $10 billion by 2030. Major value can be captured by addressing malperformance. A recent MySEP case study demonstrated over $300 million on a mid-scale production facility. In this video, we are going to introduce you to MySEP Studio and MySEP Engine and demonstrate how they work with HiSys. We have a HiSys model of a production system. It brings well fluids into a topside process with a first stage separator, a two stage gas compression system which has LP and HP suction scrubbers. We aim to see how this system will behave when we change process conditions. This will require embedding MySEP engine into our simulation. We will get to that soon. Now let's analyze the representative models of our separators with MySEP Studio. For this, we need MySEP Studio. I will open a project saved recently. It contains prepared models of the three separators which are installed on our actual topside process. I can expand the project to reveal sections of the first stage separator, the LP suction scrubber and the HP suction scrubber. Homing in on the first stage separator, the layout diagram gives us a good impression of the vessel geometry and what separation internal devices are installed. We have a horizontal vessel with an ID of 2800 millimeters and a 10 to 10 length of 9500 millimeters. For internals, we have a vein type inlet device, liquid flow conditioning baffles, a vein packed demister installed in a gas box, and a liquid overflow weir. Review MySEP Studio Analysis. Now let's review the MySEP Studio Analysis, starting with the process data. We can see one set of process data for the vessel feed stream. Here we have process conditions and properties for the gas phase, the hydrocarbon phase, and the water phase. We will import another process data snapshot for analysis from our active high sys case. Speeding through the sequence of clear steps to choose a correct simulation case and target the separator from which to extract the feed stream data and we can then return to the project and vessel process data. So now my SEP Studio analysis will cover two process conditions. We will follow the MySEP incremental gas liquid separation analysis, starting with modeling behavior in the inlet piping. Here we see the MySEP predictions for mist flow rate, mist fraction, and maximum droplet size. Also displayed are the MySEP predicted incoming droplet size distributions for both of our process cases. A quick look at the inlet section. Usually the inlet device does not contribute to mist separation. Let's push on through our separator to the gas gravity section. Focusing on our most severe case, we see that all droplets larger than 157 microns are captured. Note, the separation efficiency and the liquid carryover rates to the next section are also displayed. Next, let's add the demisting section analysis. Here, for our case 2, the vein pack captures all droplets larger than 50 microns. Again, note the separation efficiency and the liquid carryover is missed. Finally, in results, we can review the overall vessel performances with graphical analysis of section efficiency, carryover, droplet size distribution, or pressure drop. Summarizing the analysis. The analysis here in MySEP Studio is identical to the one we can use inside any HiSys simulation with MySEP engine embedded. We follow the mist from the inlet pipe, inlet section, gas section, and demisting section to the gas outlet. Setting up the geometries for MySEP engine. Recall that our project has full geometric models for all three separators in our topside process. The horizontal first stage separator, vertical LP suction scrubber, and the HP suction scrubber. To import the geometries into MySEP engine for use in the HiSys simulation, we need to save the MySEP geometry file. We do that in Tools, Simulator Communications, and Engine Geometry File. 
We will select to include all three vessel geometries, click Generate, type a file name in the file browser, and click Save. Getting my SEP engine in ISIS. Back in our process model, bring up the HiSys model palette, click on the My SEP Engine unit operation, and drag it onto the flow sheet. Double click to open the My SEP Engine unit operation. I'm going to name it My SEP Engine. It lists the HiSys separators in our simulation. Now we need the My SEP defined geometries and internals details. These can be loaded from the My SEP geometry file we prepared. We need to pair the HiSys vessels with their MySEP geometries. Now, let's see what happens to the modeling of a separator when we activate MySEP modeling. We open a separator, and on the rating tab, we see carryover setup is set to none. Now, for the first stage separator, if we activate MySEP engine, we see that the carryover setup switches over to MySEP carryover modeling. Returning to the MySEP Engine Unit operation, the Designs tab confirms the separator geometries. Calculation Results contains the full MySEP gas liquid incremental modeling, tracking the mist separation from the inlet pipe through gravity and demisting sections to vessel outlet. If we had been monitoring the conditions of the vessel gas outlet stream as we activated, we see these updated with the entrained liquid calculated by MySEP Engine. In a similar way, we can activate the other two separators. We can now use our process model with fully rigorous separation. For example, we can explore if we have enough separation capacity to handle additional hydrocarbons if we tie back to a nearby asset. What we see is more carryover from the first stage separator and the LP scrubber. Understanding real carryover is vital to avoid all too common issues like unplanned shutdown due to compressor failure, off-spec product arising from amine contactor foaming, or excessive NGLs and export gas, limiting overall production and revenue.